I'm going to reinforce the principle of FRT and show you essentially why Disney has this obligation and why having a gay protagonist will award the LGBT movement with three caution. Firstly, the nature of use. Secondly, this, um, or the portrayal of the gay protagonist. And finally, looking at Disney's obligation. Firstly, let's look at the nature of use. Their major argument here was this contention that children might not understand the issue. Now, we respond to this firstly, that in order to understand the issue, you have to have exposure. Why? Because if, when you have exposure, you normalize the concept that being gay is an acceptable social norm in society. No response on side opposition. But even more, we would go to the extent that Disney is linked to a lot of in other industries, right? Disney motion, animated motion pictures are published in books, for example, in shirts, a lot of tangible goods, and especially in advertisements. So what we're trying to do is emulate this sort of environment and create this sort of social norm for use. And even more, we would say that specifically no thank you to do with the protagonist is that a lot of these youth try to relate and associate themselves to these protagonists and look up to these as role models, right? No response outside of the position. They suggested, why don't we use education as a more serious matter? First of all, it's not mutually exclusive, right? We don't have to prove that it's the only mechanism in dealing with all the problems. But even more, we'll say, are you really saying that we should deal with children in a serious manner and try to in, sort of impose value uh, on children? We think the way we approach children is trying to have them to associate with their things that they are able to relate to, right? Most prominently animated motion picture. And this sort of environment is one which they can credibly associate with. Why do you Because we show you that the LGBT community isn't just something that we have to spread across adults. The more person needs to do with use, right? Especially in the long run. But even more, we told you that use are in a stage where they're formulating their identity. They even conceded this. And so we think in order to do so, you need to give that sort of exposure, interaction with other people, and discussion of the LGBT and the social norm of that homosexuality is acceptable. Second of all, let's look at the issue of the portrayal of these Disney films and whether this will actually work the LGBT movement. Because they said here that Disney is going to try to create extreme generalizations, stereotypes, and it's going to, I quote from the first speaker, portray these protagonists in flamboyant manner. Ladies and gentlemen, this is simply untrue, right? They haven't done this in the past with regards to gender or race, but even more, we'd say if Disney is trying to actively have a gay protagonist, it won't have an incentive to portray them in a wrong manner, right? And we think it also has an obligation to fit in with the gay movement, that the gay movement, if it was to be portrayed in a wrong manner, would criticize these animated motion pictures in a very heavy manner. And then even more so, we have pushed this analysis further, right? They said, you're going to create generalizations. How do poor generalizations or generalizations form when you don't have the exposure and the understanding. When you assume that a certain group of people acts in this certain way. And we think that's exactly what is pertinent in today's society. Is that you don't really have a picture of how you know, gay people act, or who gay people are, and how they form a relationship. And because of this, they try to formulate their sort of own depiction of what the LTV is, like, of what the gay community consists of. And if they start opposition thinks they're somehow irrational and unable to understand, that's exactly the point, right? Because they're not able to understand, they form their own generalization when they push their hiring on when they become an adult. Yes. Can you talk about how it's possible to be a promoted social values? If you really address the fact that those social values that are promoted were not these inflammatory values of the time, which gay rights is as now, which is going to result in even more information when these kind of movements are published. I want to deal with that right now, which is moving on to the third class of Disney's obligation, right? Because we gave Joel parallel examples to other things like race and other things like gender. Their objection was that it's not controversial now. But the issue is not whether it's controversial now or not. It's that when they released it, it was a controversial issue, right? They did so in trying to achieve a social change. Yeah, we agree that gender and race is a stable issue right now. But we think when they released it, it wasn't necessarily as concrete as, as it is right now. And then furthermore, they said that you know Disney is a private entity and that it shouldn't don't afford this obligation. We told you at first and had no response. I'm going to push this even further. Is that a lot of large corporations, right? When they are at a stage where they exert so much social influence, whether they want to uphold this obligation or not, it's not up to them. It's that they have to do it inevitably. Because they branch out to so much sectors of society. 
right? And the input, it has such a great impact. So we think whether they want to, you know, let's say their profits on on-site position is not an issue that they can so handle, right? These uh, the companies, the more large companies in stats will exert the large input. They said, well, you know, Disney might be ambiguous, it might be misinterpretation, and that parents might interpret the logic. We say in this current day and age, that's not pertinent, because youth are constantly exposed to the media, constantly exposed to things outside of the parents' authority, right? They interact with different children, they're under this environment constantly. They need to on the three issues of the youth, the LGBT movement, and the portrayal, we think side opposition got it wrong. 